everybody, welcome to Brickport, my name is Mike, and it is time for another news episode. And to start off, those few cool scenes you have seen in the beginning come from the last Jedi teaser trailer in LEGO form of course, and this was made by Workshop LEGO Animations. Cool YouTubers that have sent us their video to showcase, we are so happy to watch it, definitely check it out, it's gonna be in the link in the description below. In more information, we're gonna be having some set information for the coming waves, uh, Ninjago movie definitely, and the Marvel superheroes as well as DC. So check that out, but first off, let's check out this week's Amazon deals. And as always, all the links to the Amazon deals can be found in the video description below. Be sure to check them out, cause there can be some cool deals going on. And this week brings a lot of Star Wars sets on sale because of the May the 4th promotion, so that is a good moment to pick any of those new Star Wars sets up. But let's move to some information about the upcoming sets. And the interesting thing here is that some of the pictures uh, for the coming sets, especially from the Marvel superheroes and DC Comics lines were published, but unfortunately they were not official, just leaks, so we technically cannot report on them yet. And the first sets I am talking about are from the LEGO Marvel superheroes Thor Ragnarok line, that is said the ultimate Ultimate Battle for Asgard 76084. This set will retail for around 50 euro and will contain six minifigures that is Hela, two berserkers, Valkyrie, Bruce Banner, and Thor. The second set, named Thor vs. Hulk Arena Clash, set number 7608A, will retail for around 60 euro and will include five minifigs that is Hulk, Thor, Loki, Sakarian Guard and Grandmaster and most likely Hulk will be in its rumored gladiator outfit. And speaking about DC, the sets that we got information about are the sets resolving around the Justice League theme. And the information about the sets contains three sets, the first one being the Battle of Atlantis 76085, should retail for around $20 or €25 Euro, and will contain four minifigs that is Parademon, Aquaman and Atlantean Guard type. Too. I am especially excited about the Aquaman, that should be a really cool minifig. The second set, the Nightcrawler Tunnel Attack 76086, should go on sale for about $50 or €50, Euro. that price seems to be even, and will also contain 4 minifigs, those will be 2 Parademons, Batman and The Flash. And the third, the biggest set, will be retailing for around $130 or €120, Euro, and it's titled Flying Fox Batman Airlift Attack 76087, will contain 7 minifigs, that is the Steppenwolf, two Parademons, Batman, Superman, Cyborg and Wonder Woman. And one cool detail about this set is that it will be so big that it will include the actual Batmobile inside the Flying Fox. Well, we are eagerly awaiting those sets, but not only those, as the LEGO Ninjago movie set list is being expanded with more information, as we already have not only the set names which Jack reported on last week, but we also have the remote prices and the included minifigs. So let's just play some Ninjago movie trailer in the back and I'm gonna tell you the prices and the minifigs that we can expect. And starting off with the Spinjitsu training 70606, uh, retailing for around 10 euro, we have Kai and Zane, that is a small set. The next one, Ninja Go City Chase 70607, retailing for around 20 euro, will have 5 minifigs, that is Lloyd Garmadon, Nia, Shark Army Thug, Ham and Officer Tokyo or talk, I'm not sure how to spell that. The third set, Manta Ray Bomber 70609, retailing for around 30 euro, with four minifigs, that is Cole, Shenley, Great White and Shark Army Gunner. The next one, Water Strider 70611, for around 40 euro, will contain Nia, Kai, Shark Army Thug and Puffer, whatever or whoever that is. The green Ninjago Mech Dragon, set number 70612, for around 50 euro, will have the green Ninjago, Vu, Garmadon and Charlie. And of course, the green ninja go will be most likely Lloyd. And the next one, Lightning Jet 70614 for around 60 euro, will have J, Ed, Edna, Krusty, well, combined with Krusty the Clown, <laughs> Shark Army Thug, and Jelly. Fire Mech, set number 70615 for around 70 euro, will have Kai, Zayn, Lauren, Henry, Hammerhead, and Jelly. There is also a small LEGO Juniors Shark Attack set 10793 for 20 euro with Kai, Lloyd, Great White. And the two biggest coming sets that we know of as of now are the Temple of the Ultimate Ultimate Weapon 70617 for around 100 euro with Jungle Garmadon, Cole, Kai, Nia, Jay, Lloyd and Zayn. And the biggest one that we are really expecting to be really cool is Destiny's Bounty 70618 for around 170 euro. That is a big set with Kai, Jay, Zayn, Nia, Cole, Lloyd and Vu. And speaking of minifigs, we also have a confirmed information about the exclusive DC minifig that is the Green Lantern that will come out with DC Comics Superheroes Build Your Own Adventure book. The book can be already pre-ordered on Amazon and you can find the link 
in the description below. I think there is a pretty decent offer, the book should be retailing for around $16-$17 dollars, I hope and given the fact that it is an exclusive minifig it's a pretty good deal. You can place the pre-orders right now and the book will become available starting August 1st 2017. But enough about these sets and minifigs, let's go back to the Ninja Go movie franchise and of course it is constantly expanding, it is a pretty hot topic right now. A company called These Guys announced a lot of Lego Ninja Go costumes and accessories for your little ones I guess. And this line of merchandise not only consists of accessories but you also get the masks and a number of different costumes starting from jumpsuits and ending on costumes called prestige with fully grown legs in lego form and also complete chest pieces. We are not sure when these costumes will go on sale but I think it's gonna be a pretty cool gift to give to your small Ninjago fans. And also as we already know all the May events for the lego stores the lego stores June calendar has been released. First off we have new gifts with purchases and those are quite unique this month because starting June 1st to June 14th you can get the free minifigure travel pack with a purchase of $35 or more. That is a set that was distributed already in Asia I think before but now we are getting this on the US soil. The second uh, gift though is uh, somewhat more interesting it is quite exclusive and unique canvas tote bag with purchases of whooping $199 and more. And this fact along with the information in the middle of the calendar saying that June 15th to 30th will be the VIP early access for some exclusive sets tells me that those will be big sets to go together with this promotion. Also the LEGO stores keep celebrating everything Star Wars as through June 26 we will be still helping building everything about Star Wars with a rebel touch to it. June 3rd is bringing out of this world building event that will be a small space shuttle celebrating the launch of the Ideas Saturn V set. The free monthly mini model build for June 6 and 7 will be a dragonfly and I have to say that is quite a unique model among all the previous models and June 14 will bring a Wonder Woman mini build. This one is similar to June 28th when there will be a Supergirl mini build. The usual events as the LEGO Life meeting will be happening on June 17th and June 24th and June 19th will be the minifigure swap Monday. But probably the biggest thing that you should know about the June is that the June 1st brings a Saturn V rocket and the new carousel which we already reported on last week. Those are two cool sets that will be getting the second they come out and you can most likely expect a live stream and a review on those. And also remember that June is bringing the last line of the LEGO Batman movie sets, also the Star Wars sets and a number of other lines that were reported on for example the New York Toy Fair. And one more thing really worth mentioning is that everyone who signs up for the free VIP membership is starting June 1st will receive a free keychain with the red uh, VIP guy. That is quite a good incentive to sign up for this awesome membership so truly get signed up while supplies of the keychain last. And before we move into LEGO ideas one last thing to mention is that the LEGO house grand opening is coming soon and there is a raffle where you can win tickets for the grand opening. I recommend checking the links below to sign up and the deadline for signing up is May 31st. There will be 50 winners randomly announced and the prize does not cover any travel expenses, hotel accommodation or meals. Alright and now it's time for the LEGO Ideas section. If you don't know what LEGO Ideas is, it is a website where you can submit your own project like this one. And if it gains enough support, that is 10,000 supporters, LEGO can consider that for manufacturing. Let's check out what's happening there. There were no new approved sets on the LEGO Ideas this week, but I picked two sets that I really like to support and show you guys what they are about. The first one is the Brick Style Custom Motorcycle by Oscar Lai 1990. This one is a beautiful motorcycle set, one of those that don't really look like LEGO when you even take a closer look. And with a lot of chrome parts and a lot of details from Technic here and there, it makes up for a beautiful display model. It was just submitted on April 28th this year and is gaining support pretty fast. And and given the fact that I have not seen such a style of motorcycle in LEGO form for a while now, well maybe except the BMW or the older bikes from the Technic line, this one is really worth considering throwing into this review stage. The second uh, set I want to support personally is uh, also a vehicle, that is the 1937 Morgan Super Sports by Dominic QN. The build itself really catches the eye, it is a Technic build so it's gonna be hard to get it passed through the ideas review stage and as designer states it is a fully functioning model, including the engine, not sure how, but there is also a 4 speed gearbox and a steering rack. The model is very solid and fully pliable. So definitely this small game is worth supporting, it just was uh, submitted on April 25th. And the last thing I want to mention and I will be probably mentioning every so and then is our very own, I mean that's Jack's design of course, Rick and Morty's portal device. And I am happy to announce that this set just broke a thousand supporters and it is still on trending, not the first page but still on trending. So if you guys like our mock, 
spread the word, share the information, support, and who knows, maybe we will meet again in the review stage. And that is it for this episode, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Leave a like and subscribe if you like our content. And remember to support this guy so we can get to 10,000 supporters pretty fast. This just passed a thousand, by the way, which we're really happy about. Uh, also, tomorrow is a Sunday, that is a Mox episode, and uh, Jack is doing this one this week. I'm looking forward to that because he's always picking some cool Mox vastly different than I do. So, tune in for that. We'll see you tomorrow. My name is Mike, and I'll see you again on Brickvault. Thank you.